Hello everyone and welcome to this new Armory 3D tutorial video. In this video we will create a aura shader effect and also a shield shader effect. We will create this effect in the shader editor, nothing advanced. I hope you will like it. So now let's start. Here I have a new project started. The first thing I will do is to create a little scene with a character. If you don't know exactly how to start then I recommend to watch my beginner video. So now we can start creating the first shader effect. We will start with the aura effect. It's easier later for the shield effect. We select first our character body and create a new material. You can see in the shader viewport it changes the body color. Now we want the effect on the body. To start working in the shader editor we split the window and set the right one to the shader editor. We delete the shader node. Instead we will use a add shader node. With this we can add two shaders together. We will use this method because we want a simply body texture and then we want to combine it with the aura effect. For my body texture I use a very simple diffuse shader. Additionally I add a checker texture to have some type of texture on my character. You can use your own character texture that you already create. This looks great. Now we start to create the aura effect and connect it to the other output. To start off I use an emission shader instead of a diffuse shader, because with the emission shader it gives us this beautiful glowing color. We set a mix RGB node to connect the aura color and the shader amount for later. Set the mixing type to multiply and the factor to 100%. We connect one of the outputs to a math node that is set to multiply.
Now here comes the magic. We add a Fresnel node and connect it to the math node. It is important to set the Fresnel value to 0.85 to work properly. To high or to low values gives us weird results. Now we can set our own effect color. For this we simply add a RGB node and connect it to the mix node. So now we need another math multiply node. We can simply duplicate it. We need it for the fading effect. We will calculate the effect in a fade in and a fade out value. If you want you can leave it right there constant without any fading. We also need another math node but this time set it to sine or cosine. With these options you will get the fading effect. Make sure you check clamp for set a maximum and a minimum for the value that gets animated. It still doesn't work so far. We need to animate it over time. For this we simply have to add an attribute node. For the value set time but correctly like in the video. This method is very great because we don't need logic nodes to animate it like the dissolve effects that I did earlier. You simply have to set the material for the object and you're done. Make also sure that you pop the value up for a brighter color. As you can see it works properly. This looks great, but we can make it look even better by using the bloom shader. For this go under the render path panel and scroll down to post processing. Enable bloom and start your game again. See, that is what we want. That was pretty. Now we use the same effect but also with a fading energy texture and another color. To start off we duplicate the material by pressing this button and rename it like you want. Between the RGB and the mix node we use another mix node and set it to multiply. Make sure that you type a value like 0.9 or 0.8. We want to see mainly the effect and texture a little light up by the effect. For the second mix color input we connect to image texture. Now I set the texture UV correctly with the mapping node and also scaling the texture a little bit. You can use any alpha energy field texture or simply download my from the link in the description for free. This is what it looks like. Like I said I want to scale the image a little bit up.
For my shield effect I take a blue color, but a green or a purple color would also be cool. I think that looks great. The texture is perfectly mixed with the shield effect. That's it again. I really hope you liked it and I also hope that you implement this in your game. For now I say goodbye and thank you very much for watching. Take care.